Sweet Marvel. I hope you're all having a very good day today um, or tonight. I mean, I guess if it's nighttime here on the West Coast, it's probably nighttime where you're at, especially if you're on the East Coast, which it seems like a lot of my viewers are. But I'm here at California Adventure, uh, Disney's California Adventure, and uh, I'm going to do a little walkthrough here. And as you can see, look, we're going to start right off here in Ariel's, uh, the Little Mermaid ride. And I'll tell you, you know, you get, you get here and check out the little the Little Mermaid ride, and guess what? When you, when you check out the little the Little Mermaid ride, look, Ariel is still white. Just saying, I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just saying, Ariel's still white. That's all I can say. Hey. As, as my man Chillmonger would say, temporary representation. He knows it. You know it. It's true. Temporary. She's still white. I think the meet and greet is probably still white. I don't know. We didn't. We didn't meet. We didn't get a meter. We didn't get a meter. My. Uh, we, we weren't here for that today. We weren't here for the girls. And even then, I think my my daughters are out, kind of getting old enough. They're not worried about meeting Ariel anymore. But I figured while I was here. Um, my, my kids went on the last ride with their mother. I didn't want to go. It's, it's on Guardians of the Galaxy. They're, they're in line for Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like a 70, 80 minute wait. And I was like, you know what? I am not sitting in line for that ride again for 70 minutes, 80 minutes. And mostly because we were on it this morning and it, it well, we were in line and it broke down. It broke down and then uh, we so we so we got out of line. Of course, as soon as we, as soon as we get out of line, it starts right back up again. And so it was, we we went on some other rides, and then we came back to it a little bit later. And the ride the wait wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. So yeah, so we didn't so we didn't do that. And then oh my face broke down. Oh no, is it? What are you talking about? Is it? it do I got bad connection? Is that what you're telling me? You telling me I got bad connection? But, uh, oh, you mean, you mean my, my face is, oh, I see what you're saying, son of a bitch. Anyway, um, yeah, so, so we went on it later. We've been on some rides, you know, it's been, it's, but okay, oh, all right, yeah, I, I see what you're saying, yeah, yeah, haha. I got, I got you. So I, I figured, you know, what the hell, you know, while, while they're waiting, I'm going to walk to the car, but I figured I might as well do a little walkthrough here for you guys of California Adventure so you guys can see uh, everything we got over here. We just left the Little Mermaids. We got the Goofy right over here, Goofy's uh, Sky School. We went, on, we went on that one today. Went on the Goofy Sky School. Um, I don't, Coco, he doesn't have a ride. It must be a place where you can meet him. But over here we got the little these little things. My kids are bigger than that now. I don't think they really want to go on that ride anymore. But the Golden Zephyr, it's back there. It was closed today. But, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, you go over here. We've got Bayside Brews over here. You can get some brewskis. Uh, <laughs> all the employees have blue hair. No, they don't. They don't, actually. You know what's funny, RC Scott, is I actually got a, <laughs> I got a video. I got a video that I, that I got to record. Uh, something kind of relating to that uh, here in uh, probably, probably over the next day or so, anyway. But over here, you know, we got some some uh, restaurant place over here. You sit down to eat, a little pizza place back in there. Get some food. But it's nighttime here. And yesterday I did a member stream. Said I would probably uh, do this member stream. Uh, we'll do a stream tonight. Uh, just kind of walking through uh, here at California Adventure because I'll tell you, when we get there, uh, it's one of, it's one of my favorite it's one of my favorite things here. And oh, this is a great ride right here. Twenty dollars for a slice of pizza? No, it's like eight bucks. It was like eight bucks. Well, water's like five for a little bottle. But this one right here, Silly Symphony Swings. Silly Symphony Swings is a pretty badass ride. I like it. It's, uh, you just get on, you know, like, just like you've probably been on at a carnival. You know, you get on the little swing up there, you can see. You get on the little swing and, uh, and then it spins around. Yeah. It just goes around in circles. And, yeah, you, you, know, what, you know what I'm talking about. Over here, this, one, this one's fairly new. I think we went on this before, but I think this right over here it is the um, from what's it called, uh, Inside Out, and it's called Emotional Whirlwind right here. But basically, it looks like what they did was they got the little boxes in there that you set in, and then it goes around in like a little circle. And I believe, I think what they did here was they actually repurposed some of the assets that they had from when they tore down the Bugs Life area. 
which had, uh, I can't remember what it was called, but they had a ride that was very similar to this. So I think they just took it, got rid of it, and modernized it. And so now they, they've got the, um, the emotional damage, I mean the emotional whirlwind uh, ride right here. And then uh, get over here, we're uh, basically here at Paradise Pier. And over here you can see we've got the, uh, the Ferris wheel that we'll get to. Uh, right over here, Ferris wheel. We did go on the Ferris wheel earlier. We went on the little swinging ones, the ones that swing. Um, it was during the daytime and it was great because once we got on there, it was like swinging, it was nice and cool because it was a hot day. It was a hot day today. And over here we got the Pixar promenade. We're getting ready to shut everything down, I think, for World of Color. Uh, so some of the walking ways and the like the, uh, some of the different things. Not all the rides though. Over here they got a few, uh, few different games you can play. Bullseye Stallion Stampede, right there. Um, what we got over here, Candy Corn Toss. Ooh, Wally Space Race. Hey, that interests me, I like Wally. Wally's one of my more favorite movies that they've done. I actually uh, really enjoy um, the Wally movie. One of my favorites, it really is. Um, we get over here, just you know, all the eateries, serving all the dab, all the diabetes food. You know, for uh, Wilford Brimley, be upset at you. Tell you about that diabetes, diabetes. But anyway, over here we've got the. Uh, get over here, we've got um, the Midway Mania. We didn't get to go on this one, man. We said we were here earlier at Midway Mania, and the ride broke down. We were sitting in line for probably about an hour, tucked it through the line, and then all of a sudden it broke down. And we're like, you know what? We'll wait. We waited for a little while. And then at that point, after we waited for about another 10 minutes, they fucking said, you know what? Just get the hell out of the line. We're closing this shit down. But it's it's a pretty cool ride. It's a pretty cool ride. It's a popular one. It's a popular one. It's a fun one. And over here we got the uh, Midway Mercantile. Yeah, over here you got more diabetes. The poultry, what is it, poultry palace. And then over here, uh, you get over here into the, uh, into the carousel. I think this one, this one used to be King Titan's carousel, but I think they changed it from King Titan to, uh, what is it now, the Critter Carousel, Jesse's Critter Carousel. You can see Jesse right there. Haven't been on it since then. Let's see what, what Romeo say here. Uh, wasn't to an amusement park. Oh, I haven't been to an amusement park in a while. Uh, good seeing you enjoy this frequently. Yeah, um, it's been a while. It's been a couple, it's been two years since we've uh, been here to, uh, to Disneyland. It's been two years since we've been to Disneyland and California Adventure. And over here they got the Incredicoaster. It used to be, yeah, what was it? it used to be called? It used to be called uh, Screaming California is what it used to be called. But then they changed it, you know, because they made this all Pixar land. And uh, man, look at that freaking line, man. Freaking line is long now. Earlier, earlier, man, we went on the we went on the ride like it was like 10 minutes. It was like not even I don't even think it was 10 minutes to get on, get off. But it's one that. It's probably the funnest coaster they have here. You go up and around, and you can see right there, um, right there it goes through the loop. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it's all uh, incredible theme now. And you walk up here through the boardwalk, and I'll, here, I'll, 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 I'll turn this so you can see my handsome face now, um, since I know that's what you want to do uh, as we go through go through here. But yeah, this is the, the incredible coaster now. And then we walk up here through the uh, through this pierway, and there's not really much through through this section right here, as, as you can see behind me, around me. There's not much here in this uh, in this particular section. So, I mean, I guess you could look at that, or you could look at my handsome face. You you let me know. But then over here, oh, I forgot they finally put in the Dole Whip place over here. They got the adorable. Why does it say the adorable? Oh, it's the abominable. Um, Snowman Frosted Treats. You can get your Dole Whip on over there. I think it's the Dole Whip they have. 
Then we get in here to some more of the eateries that they have here. And then Nick's, Nick's knickknacks. This is another little place to spend uh, all your money on a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> to tell you the truth. I mean, like, come on, that's what it is. You know, you buy like uh, a bunch of these these cheap toys, you know, your kids keep for a couple of years. You know, they probably they probably fucking break as soon as you leave the park anyway. So, you know. That just is what it is. You know, but you know, you still you still spend forty dollars on it. Your kid loved it for, you know, twenty minutes and it was all good. It was great. They loved it. No, Okay, and then right over here we're almost back to you can see we're back to where we started it, like where Ariel's is right over there. Ariel's is right over there. And then um, crossing over this little bridge here. Where you can see, once again, uh, over here, we've got more places to, uh, to eat. You can see other people eating down there. We've got this nice little bridge. What is that Fran San Francisco? So Sokio? San Francisco? I, I don't know. I'm not really for sure. But yeah, we just crossed the little bridge, and again, like I said, there's uh, the little the Little Mermaid ride. We're back to the Little Mermaid ride. I'm not gonna go through the Little Bear Town. We had a Little Mermaid ride, um, where I, I said that a uh, Ariel is, you know, she's still white. She's still white on the Little Mermaid ride. That's that's not it's not my doing. It's not my doing. But anyway, so yeah, here we are. Then you cross you cross over here. Um, and you can see just more, you know, places where there's no rides or anything. Places, food places. And over here is where you can go and get, get all your alcohol. Walk around Disneyland, Disneyland all day while it's hot. Which I think is the most fucking absurd thing in the world. Uh, when I'm here. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just me, but when I'm here walking around Disneyland, especially when it's, when it's hot as shit like it usually is here. The last thing I want to do is walk around drinking fucking alcohol all day long. I don't know how some of these people do it. Fucking degenerates, man, I'm telling you. Fucking alcoholics, dude. Like, seriously, like, you'll get here as soon as these alcohol plays open. Like, motherfuckers are sitting there, like, buying drinks. Fucking, you see them walking around with two drinks and shit. I don't even know you can do that. But they're walking around all day, all goddamn day drinking alcohol. I'm like, dude, slow that shit down, man. Like, I, I th this is the last place I want to drink alcohol. Like, I, like if I'm at Disneyland... I'm drinking water. I'm walking around having fun. You know, if I if I want to drink alcohol, I want to do that shit at home, where I can relax and have a good time. Maybe smoke a fat bowl while I'm doing it, but I definitely don't want to get drunk and fucking walk around Disneyland. <laughs> that shit makes no sense to me. But maybe that's just me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. We'll see. Uh, what's Romeo saying? Oh, we got Random Bread Creator in the house as well. Um, now this place is huge. Nothing. Compared to one of the to one of Europe's biggest park. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, the mouse knows what's good for you. Yeah, I guess, I guess so. I guess you could make that argument. And then uh, over here, let me turn this camera around. Uh, we got across the little spot there. We got again. That's the other side of the little food, the little food spots. Uh, and you know, just more places to spend your money. Uh, spend it on food that's not very good. Doesn't taste very good. It's overpriced, and it's probably ultimately going to give you diabetes. But you know, I don't know. You got—I guess you got to eat something while you're here. You're walking around, so you're probably bringing it off, right? And then here, here's the place where I like to go: is the Cars Land. Over here, we've got uh, Tow Maters. Um, he's got this little, this little ride over here, where you go through and you get on these little things, and they kind of whip you around. Oh, first we get here when it's all slowing down, but what it does is it, dri it drives around and it kind of whips you around and shit. I don't know. It's kind of silly. It's kind of silly. I mean, what else would you expect from Mater? But over here in uh, in the Cars Land, this is like this is like this is like the place I like to be when it's nighttime because you'll you'll see when we get there. You'll see when we get there. We're close. Fillmore's Taste and Fuel, place where you can. Go spend your money. They, here they usually have sodas and fruits, and no, no <laughs> not the, and not those kind of fruits. We know they got plenty of those here at Disneyland too, but like fruit to eat and shit. Um, but yeah, like water and stuff like that. 
some different snacks, chips We're over here. Got Sarge's Surplus Hut. Going there more, uh, another place to spend your money on cheap toys that your kid's gonna love for, like I said, 10 minutes and then break. But here's the, here's the cool place right here. I love, I love hanging out here in the, uh, I love hanging out here at the Cars Land. This is where it's at. You got the Crazy Cone, the Crazy Cone Motel here. Yeah. You got the Crazy Cone. A lot of times they'll have, uh, they'll have uh, Lightning McQueen will come out. He'll make appearances right over here um, in front of this, in front of this little area. Oh, and I was gonna say, so does, so does Mater. And it looks like Mater's getting ready to head over here right now too. But uh, yeah, over here, but this is the Crazy Cone. They have like all the little places where you can get food, more more diabetes, more diabetes with the churros, got your ice cream, probably got like popcorn or something over here, you know. Oh, cone queso. But yeah, look, we're getting ready to get Tomato coming right through here. Here he comes. There he is. See him? Check it out. Here comes Tomato. James Jimenez, what is up? We're watching a mater pull into to the Cars Land area. He's getting ready to pull up for a meet and greet. There he is. You can see him coming through. There he is. That's let's go there, look at the little. Ooh, right there, that's pretty cool. Like I said, the, the Cars Land here is the coolest. Shit. Is the coolest shit. That's where you want to hang out. That's where you want to hang out at. And there's there's Mater here to do some meet and greets with his fans. He got all his fans in line there. And then uh, go back through here. You know, you go back uh, in through here, uh, back here at Flows on the back side of Flows. You got the restrooms right back there. But then. Uh, we got Flo's restaurant here, Flo's Cafe, and this is one of the cool. One of the things that makes it cool, anyway, is just seeing uh, seeing the uh, all the neon signs and everything. I like the neon lights. It's pretty cool. Flo's Cafe here. Got all the places to eat. Looks like a little gas station, just like in the just like in the movies. Pretty cool stuff, but like, here I think here at Flows they just have like, you know, just like cheeseburgers and fucking chicken strips and shit like that, you know. Not the best, not the best food in the world, but hey, it is what it is. But see, I'm telling you, it looks it looks great here. All the neon lights and everything. This is this is this is the one area I like. This is the one area I like to be at when I'm here. Um, at night, it's the coolest at night. Another little store right over there. Over here we got uh, Luigi's. Luigi's. I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys that here in a minute. What exactly uh, they've got going on at Luigi's? We'll go, we'll go check out that ride. But here we'll go around here. Now, when you come here to uh, what is this? Ramones. You get the little sign here. Ramones. Um, here is obviously just a shop. But the thing is, when you come here, they've got these hoods that are all painted up and everything. And if you look for, and if you look through these hoods, if you look in the paint jobs, all of them have like a little Mickey, a little hidden Mickey. Like see the little hidden Mickey head right there? Got one right there. A little hidden Mickey head in the paint job. Man, why does that look like it sticks out really bad there? I don't remember them sticking out that bad before. Maybe it's just because I've seen them a few times, but then I could come over to this one right here and find the hidden Mickey head in this one. And this one I'm pretty sure it's in, it's in the flames somewhere. I think the, the hidden Mickey is in the flames. If I'm not mistaken. Where's that Mickey at? Where's the Mickey at in the flames? The Mickey is in the flames. I'm pretty sure Mickey's in the flames somewhere here. I'm not seeing him. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing it, but he I, I guarantee he's in those flames unless unless they changed unless they changed the uh, the hoods out, which they look the exact same. And then I think I think on this one. Man, where was this one at? Can't remember where this one. Was. I want to say it was somewhere like near this.
pinstriping somewhere. Somewhere in the pinstriping, like near the, the blue and the orange. Ah, it's in there somewhere. I'm telling you, it's there. But yeah, in each one of these hoods, they have the little, the hidden little Mickey head. This one, man, where was this one at? This one's, I want to say it was down here in the, I want to say it was down here in the pinstriping somewhere. I could be wrong. But yeah, they got, like I said, they, oh, maybe this is the one that we, that Mickey was in the, was here in the flames. Man, I should probably be careful. I'm going to get a content claim for the music that you can hear playing right here. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Let's see. Uh, Star Wars Marvel Pierce. Justin, what is up? I hope you're doing well. I hope you and the fam are having a great time. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. Long, hot. Um, yeah, everywhere. Parks, festivals. It's fat, sugar, and salt. Yeah, it, it really is. It really is. Um, yeah. Um, Random Brad says, buying no boots from that place. Uh, what cost fifty dollars a plastic cup? Yeah, probably so. It probably does. Hell, even at the hotels around here, even at the hotels. I uh, hope you're doing well, Justin. Uh, did you guys get to do the cars ride? Didn't get to last time I was there. Heard, uh, heard it's dope. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, that was the first thing we did when we got here this morning because it's usually got like some of the longest lines that you're ever gonna see. And are they not running it right now? I don't hear it running. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just in between uh, rides. Mickey is hiding everywhere. It's like, <laughs> it's like the Holy Ghost. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But right over here is the uh, Radiator Springs Racers right here. It's a pretty cool at night. Like I said, this is my favorite place to hang out at uh, when it's nighttime, is here at Radiator Springs. Cause like I said, it's all got like all the neon lights and shit. Flo's, Flo's Cafe, looks all dope as hell. And then, uh, yeah, then you get like Radiator Springs here. Pretty cool. You walk through here. They got like the little guardrail and everything. Like it's, like it's the freeway. But yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I like it. Like I said, if if I could if I could just hang out in a place like this all the time, it'd be cool. Like, you know, well, not with the over, <laughs> not not with the overpriced food and shit, <laughs> but just here the way it looks. You know, it looks all like 50s and everything with like the you know the old school uh, diner. And everything, you know, the whole, all the neon lights and shit. And again, you know, there's everything. Oh, you guys, can you guys see that right back there? You can see the little bridge where, uh, where Lightning McQueen and what's her name went and they first kissed. Yeah. She took him on a date. And he spun her wheels. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like I said, Radiator Springs is the place, uh, is the place I, is the place I like to hang out. If I'm here and it's late and it's nighttime, it's also my uh, two-year-old son lo uh, loves cars. Hope you're doing well. Yes, Ryan Unknown. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I am. We're having we're having a good time. We're getting ready to leave soon. Um, yes, place. Are you just? Uh, yeah, it is a great place. Uh, are you just staying for today or a few days? Uh, we were here. We were at the Disneyland side. Uh, we were at we were at the Disneyland side yesterday. We were at Disneyland. I did a, a members only stream from um, the Disneyland side yesterday, and after this, this will probably go members only too. But um, especially because probably gonna get claimed if they hear that music and that was in the background. But yeah, no, we're we're getting ready to leave here. Um, my my family's just on on they're on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, which used to be the Hotel Tower of Terror. I wish it still was the Hotel Tower of Terror, but it's not anymore. But uh, you know, that is what it is. I can't remember why they changed it though, because I know they still got the Tower of Terror in the one in Florida. They just don't have the one here. They made it to Guardians of the Galaxy here, which here it's now in what is known as Avengers Land, which kind of sucks, because when we get ready to walk through the Avengers Land, I'll, sh I'll tell you what sucks about it, because uh, one of the things they done was they took out a whole bunch of cool shit for the little, littler kids, younger kids. They took about, it was the Bugs Life area. They took all that shit out and they put in all this Avengers bullshit. And look, I think they added, I don't think they even added any rides. Did they add any rides? Okay, they, they added the Spider-Man ride, which is gay, which is, dude, the, the ride sucks. It's fucking stupid. The, the Spider-Man ride. It's the Spider-Man's web slingers or something. They just basically set in a little car and you go like that as it moves around. Like, that, that's it. 
well, I, like you're shooting at targets and shit. It's it's the lamest shit ever. And uh, yeah. But um, yeah, like I said, this is Flo's Cafe. Like I said I I don't know. It's just cool here. It's just cool here. Like I said, it's, it's got to be. A, I'm sure it's the neon lights and the whole '50s feel. Over here we got. They're getting ready for Halloween, so they got the spider uh, spider meter thing thingy. But yeah, it's getting all all ready for Halloween everywhere. You can see a lot of the Halloween stuff. I think even at the top you can see like they've got like a little spider web up the chains, like a spider web coming out. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Flo's Cafe. Like I said, I, I would hang out here all night if I could. It's pretty sick. Um, again, you know, we're back here to the shop, you know. Take your money for some cheap goods. Maybe some t-shirts. Like t-shirts are probably the only real, real thing to buy over here. But uh, here, we've got uh, Luigi's Casa Della Tires. Why, I don't know why. Yeah, right there. Luigi's, then you come over, you get over here, um, inside of Luigi's, uh, the little tire thing, and you just get in these little cars, the cars just dance, that's pretty much all that happens, it used to be different over here, it used to be like, they used to have bumper cars basically, like this whole little, uh, like all, all this little area right here, where they have the cars at, um, they used to have like, it was like a big old tire, like a big old tire that you would get in and set in and it, they just like floated around almost like little bumper cars. It was pretty cool, but they changed it up, you know, like they got the little cars here now, but then you go through here and again, we got, um, just another in between section going here from cars land into, uh, into the event, into the Avengers, Avengers land area place. Um, that they got, and I don't know. I guess it's somewhat of a shortcut to get some of the places, but there ain't there ain't really shit over here. You can see, you know, just stuff in in between here. I think some of these areas is like I think when they bring out like uh, Lightning McQueen and Mater, they come through here. I'm not sure if they still have. Damn, who is the fuck? They used to have a car that would uh, come out. And they would have uh, they would have dancers and shit. They would play music and put on little neon lights. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Oh, but here you can hear you can hear the Avengers music already. As we get here into the little Avengers land. I'm not sure that they do anything with uh, most of this, if they do any meet and greets or, or whatnot. We got the SSR right there. And they got this little crane up there. I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe they have a show over here or something for it. But I have I haven't seen the show myself. And then right over here on the Avengers campus they got they got all, all of this stuff. Like I said, this used to be where Bugs Land was, uh, Bugs Life, and it was it was pretty cool stuff uh, that they had for the little kids. Now it's just all this hero over here. We got uh, Doctor Strange has a show, show that he does. Oh, look, like he's doing it right now. Doing, he's doing uh, he's doing his little show over there. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how the show is now. I've got, I've got an old video of the show from before. I could probably, um, that I've got. Man, I think I got it uploaded for channel members somewhere. I'll have to check. We got this little thing over here. I'm sure they probably do uh, some sort of meet and greets over here as well. But then right here, they got this this ride right here. This is the Spider-Man the Web Slingers. This ride is like the gayest ride ever, man. It, I'm telling you, it sucks. It sucks. Um, like, I'm telling you, like, they, they put in, they put in some of these rides, they, like, they put in the Doctor Strange thing, the Doctor Strange thing is kind of cool, but they put in, like, this, uh, this Web Slingers thing, and the ride sucks. It's not, it's not even really cool. I'm like, I'd rather, I'd rather there was still all the little fucking Bugs Life shit that they had, the little, the rides for little kids. Because here, 
they got the, you know, they put in this the stupid Spider-Man ride. And over here, I'll, I'll show you over here in a second. Um, they have a, a little show that they do as Spider-Man. But yeah, and then they, you know, they just put in shops. 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 Excuse me. The shops are, like I said, a bunch of a bunch of cheap goods to get for your kids. For them to remember the trip here. But yeah, like over here. And I'll have to see, I know I've got video of it too. Um, I've got video of it. But what they do is over here, they have a meet and greet with Spider-Man. Um, here on the side, of, on the on this uh, on this side over here, they usually like where you see like the guy over there taking photos, uh, right there. And um, they usually have Spider-Man. He'll come out. But what they do is uh, right here, as you can see, uh, they have like a little show that goes on where Spider-Man will come out and he's sitting there and he does this little thing up here, um, doing doing all his thing, and then he goes up on top of this building. And then he jumps from here over to there. And what it is, what it is that they have is it's actually, um, it's actually like an animatronic or a, a robotic. It's, it's like a robot, um, and a and a and a robotic robot. It's a, it's, a, it's a it's a fucking robot. Uh, you can probably you can find videos over here on YouTube uh, that they've got that is dressed up like Spider-Man and everything, and it does like fucking flips and shit. Um, actually, I think he just, he just basically just like jumps and then does a flip as he, as he lands over here. Um, there's like one actor starts over here and then the other, then the other actor is over here. And then I can't remember if he climbs down, climbs down over here or not, but then there's usually like a little meet and greet right over here, uh, with Spider-Man. So I don't know. It's, it's kind of cool little thing before meet and greet, I guess. Uh, to you know, to meet Spider-Man, see him do a little, a little show. That's not even really like it'd be. It'd be a hell of a job to have to actually do that for real. But like I said, it's a robot. It's basically a, a, a robot that comes out and uh, and does it. But then here, like I said this is. Uh, let's get back here into the Avengers Land area. Um, here's where they got that. I'm telling you, like they wasted a lot of this stuff, man. Like I said, they had these had the Bugs Life shit, and it was cool. You know, and that's and that's the and that's the biggest thing for me is, for me, for me, like my kids are old enough that like they they wouldn't be into those bug side rides anyway. But like one of them was like a ride that was basically like the the In and Out or Inside Out uh, what? ride that that I, that I showed you guys earlier. It was basically like that, but there was uh, you would get in like little uh, you know like the little takeout containers from a Chinese food restaurant. They had. Um, like a little bug, a little bug thing you would set in and go around, like a little track. I mean, it was little shit, but like it was cool. But it was great for kids. You know, they took out all the cool shit for kids. And I, to me, that's a shame. I, I mean, because they need they need shit here geared for littler kids, and now they basically took it all took it all away for fucking uh, just to jazz it up with this Avengers shit. So, you know, I love the Avengers. I love Marvel and all that shit, but. You know, like I'd rather they still had like all the all the shit for the little kids, the little the little Bugs Life kids and stuff. See more little merch stuff over here. We've got. Um, yeah. And then that's that really for the most part. Let me get back over here. Um, we've got the like this Avengers, uh, the Avengers base here. It's not. It's definitely not Stark Tower, but maybe it's like that. It's supposed to be like that building that was in, um, like Civil War and Endgame. Maybe it got blown up. Over here, they, uh, back over there, they've got a like an Avengers vehicle, Avengers truck. You can see right there, and then. Um, Go back over here. Oh yeah, they got the Pim Test Kitchen. Um, they got different like food and shit. You know, obviously, you can check out the 
little menu. It's, it's, uh, we ate here, we ate here a couple years ago. We got some of the different foods you can see. Oh yeah, I remember I had that not so little chicken sandwich. Man, here they got all the, the hell, the hell? Yeah. So yeah, like the not so little chicken sandwich, I had that one. But, yeah, it's all right. And over here, like I said, we get, get back over here. And over here, they actually do a little show where they come out and they fight and everything. Um, like Black Widow and Captain America and uh, Black Panther would come out. And, oh, look, it looks like they're having a meet and greet right now with Captain America. Yeah, more meet and greets with Captain America. As you can see right there. Cap there, and of course, uh, just like just like Ariel, just like just like Ariel, <laughs> just like on the Little Mermaid ride, more temporary representation. Uh, you know, Little Mermaid's not black here, and even Captain America's not black. It's not Sam Wilson. It's, it's Steve Rogers. You know, I'm telling you, my man Chillmonger. You got to go check his shit out. Talk about that temporary representation and how it's a bunch of bullshit. So, you know, Little Mermaid's not black. Steve Rogers or Captain America's not black. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think uh, Chillmonger's on to something there. But then, uh, yeah, you c come over here. Get on to here and uh, you've got the, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. And this one, this one is the one that used to be uh, Hollywood Tower of Terror. They just kind of updated the outside a little bit. They updated it, and basically it's like it's like you get in some little seats and you sit down and it shoots you up and then you come down. It shoots you up and you come down fast though, so you know like it's fun and shit. It's fun. It's fun. It's it's it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, it's definitely one of the, it's definitely one of the funner rides here. Definitely one of the funner rides here. Uh, what was that? I seen. Uh, oh, we got Will Morgan in the house. We got a celebrity here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's see. Uh, does Disney have horror houses during Halloween? Um, you know, I can't remember. It's been a while since we've been here uh, for Halloween. It's been a while since we've been here for Halloween. Um, the stuntman got replaced. Yeah, exactly, with the animatronics. Yeah. Taking our gerbs. <laughs> Will Morgan says, uh... It's like Grand Theft Auto Disney Edition, exactly. <laughs> I have never, oh, dang it. Um, I have never been, Dad, I will, uh, Girls Too Old, yeah. But I don't know, I mean, you like you bring adult adult kids here and have fun. Like, I have I have fun here. James Jimenez laughing, how was that? About the temporary representation thing? Yeah, no, it's true, man, it's true. I mean, like I said, Ari Ariel's still white here, she's not black, we got, you know, fucking, Captain America back there. We all know in the MCU, Captain America. Captain America is Sam Wilson there. He's black. He's not. He's not Steve Rogers anymore. But not here. You come here, and that the here Tony Stark is still alive. So is T'Challa. T'Challa. They still want to. <laughs> they won't replace him in the movies, but they'll still have T'Challa here for you to meet. And it's actually T'Challa. T'Challa. It's not. It's not Shuri, right? It's not Shuri. You know. You watch the You watch the movies, and Shuri is Black Panther, not T'Challa. But here, I guess, you know, I guess that's one good thing about Disneyland. They keep it real. Yeah, I guess they keep, they keep it real here. They're like, you know what, fuck. Like, we're going we're gonna to be smart about this, and we're going to keep T'Challa alive here. We're going to keep T'Challa alive so he can make, make some money, because we know Shuri isn't going to make that money for us, Black Panther. You know? And maybe that's the thing with the Ariel, too. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they, they should be immortal, but no, they're not. You know... Chadwick Boseman is T'Challa, apparently. He died. T'Challa's dead, so... No. Um, oh, man, and this is the thing right here, man. Like, what they're doing here at the Hyperion is they're actually doing Rogers the Musical. And we planned these days. We were actually supposed to be here today and tomorrow, but for whatever reason, because my son had a soccer game this weekend on Saturday, so we came here yesterday and today. And it sucks because tomorrow... Wednesday and Thursday are the last days that Rogers the Musical is going to be here, so I basically don't get to see 
Rogers the musical. And I'll tell you what, man, like, I'm a little disappointed about that because, like, I know in Hawkeye it was, you know, that sh silly shit singing, saying fucking, you know, I can do this all day, you know, like doing the whole fucking Rogers the musical thing. But I like that shit. And I wanted to see Rogers the musical, goddammit. I didn't get to see it. I didn't even get to see Rogers the musical, and I'm a little bit disappointed in that. I want to see Rogers the musical, but I'm not going to get to. And who knows if they're ever going to bring it back again. So it's like, Mr. Limited Edition, limited edition kind of thing. Maybe I, I wonder if I could talk my wife into buying more tickets for tomorrow. I don't know. But then over here, look, look. Thank the president, thanks to President Trump, we got a taco truck on every corner, and we even got a taco truck at Disneyland now too. Um, right here we got a little refreshment, refreshment. You get your beverages. Probably alcohol again. You know, all these fucking degenerates gotta have their alcohol while they're walking around Disneyland for some re fucking reason. Meanwhile, I'm here cursing like a sailor. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh yeah, whose words? You sitting there drinking with your kid or fucking me cursing? But this right here is probably one of my favorite rides. Uh, the Mike and Sully to the rescue. Fucking love the, the monsters ride. It's, it's really cool. Then over here, we've got this Avengers Superstore. It says, the superstore featuring the Avengers, but you go in there and it's not that super. There's not very much shit in there. Um, they've got a few things. So, you know, I'll tell you, the one thing they do have in there, I'll post pictures. They actually got comic books. They do sell comic books in there, right? You know, and I've, I've heard people talk about that, like, oh, why don't they sell comic books? They do. They sell comic books at Disneyland, okay? Or, or California Adventure. They got the comic books right there inside this building that is being wasted with a bunch of bullshit. I know uh, one year we came here and they had Frozen. They had the, they had that shit all like, you go in there, it was like a Frozen Wonderland. They had fucking Olaf in there and he was doing meet and greets and they had like a little slide, like a little slide where you could get on uh, and, and be on the ice and slide down it. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Um, that was obviously when, you know, Frozen was a big thing a handful of years ago when my, when my daughters were still little. So, but, you know, it was cool to take them to that. But then, uh, yeah, so then we're back over here, you know, getting back from where monster, the Monsters Ride is and the Avengers Land. Um, yeah, so much money for it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then over here, got the animation studio. Um, this, is, this is getting back just down to like, to like the, uh, I can't remember what they call it, the Times Square area. Uh, of, of of the park, Mickey's Phil, uh, Phil Har Magic. Oh, okay, yeah, I think they have a little show here, and we missed it. We actually missed the show uh, this today. We didn't get to go to the show. And of course, uh, more diabetes boots. More diabetes boots here on the, on the strip. They got uh, restrooms right back here. Um, this right here, the Disney Junior Theater. I'm not sure if they still do anything with that. You used to go in there and they'd have like a uh, little dance. Oh, okay, they do still do the dance party. You go in there, they show you videos, they have characters, you know. Kids get to go in there and have fun and dance around and shit. It was kind of cool. It was kind of cool, you know, like like they need more stuff for, they need more stuff for um, for the little ones, you know what I mean? And because they, they take all the shit, you know, in the, name, in the name of making money, they take all the cool shit for kids out and they put in a bunch of bullshit. Like I said, we just walked through the Avengers land, and it's a bunch of bullshit there. They just put in a bunch of shitty shops and fucking one ride just to make some money instead of leaving the cool rides for the little kids, for the like the little babies to go on. You know what I mean? And it's a fucking shame. You know, like I said, my, my, kids are, my kids are older than that, but I wish they still had the rides there for the little kids. Because you know why? Because there's going to be parents that have little babies that want to take their little babies on rides and they don't have... Fucking, they don't have any rides here to take the babies on now. They're gone. And it sucks. But, you know, I guess I gotta make that money somehow, right? But, yeah, and here we go. So we're, we're back here in like the, the main square area um, where they've got um, Cafe Bakery. They've got Diabetes, Diabetes Lane. This is called that Diab <laughs> Diabetes lane and um, more shots to take all your money. Shirts, like I said, they're getting ready for Halloween so you can get there inside the shops and see like 
all the Halloween merch that they're getting ready to bring in. All right, Will Morgan, your phone's dying. All right, dude, you're gonna leave. I get it. I get it. Um, let's see. It's a whole town. How long you've been walking? It's mind blowing. Yeah, it is. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good size. That's what she said. Um, Will Morgan's phone's gonna die. Uh, Babies don't have a bank account, exactly, exactly, and that's that's the thing. <laughs> but the, the, I mean, they, like, man, I'm telling you, when when my kids were babies, I used to love bringing them here. Bring them, I mean, they they like coming here still now, but you know, they're getting to be teenagers and shit. But it's uh, it's a little it's a little different than it used to be. A little different than it used to be. Like I said I do definitely miss the uh, the bugs the bugs life. I do definitely miss the uh, the Bugs Life uh, area, where uh, the Bugs Life area where they had all the shit for the little kids. Cause like I said, the little kids need they need shit to go on too, man. The little kids want to go on rides. Okay, now I'm here in the locker area because I got to get my stuff. Um, I'm not gonna tell you my combination to get in the locker. I'm not gonna tell you. I just got in and get my stuff, my wife's stuff in there. Is there, did I leave anything? Okay. So now I'm gonna walk to the car. You know, I might actually just take the shuttle. What time is it? I might actually get onto the shuttle to take back to the hotel where the car is parked and then come back here and uh, pick them up here in a little while. But yeah, that's it, man. Walking through, uh, walking through Disney's California Adventure. Um, we're at the Five and Dime, like I said, here at the very beginning, just got the stores. Uh, over here, they got Oswald. Oswald, he was, he was out earlier, like, uh, uh, like straight back in that area, where he was doing his little meet and greet. But, there we are. That's, that's the end of it. And then here we are at the very front. Now I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of my wife really quick. Send her a little text message. And uh, yeah, let, let, let's see. Let's see how this goes. See if I can do this on a live stream. All right, you too, James Jimenez. Oh man. But anyway, guys, uh, you guys have a great rest of your night, and we'll see you later. Again, this is the, uh, thank you all for being here. Like the smash button. Yeah, I said that. And I'll see y'all later. This is probably gonna go to this is probably gonna go members only anyway. But thank you all so much for being here. And you know, maybe I won't if there's enough people. If there's enough, if there's enough people to say, no, leave this live so we can see it. You know, I might do that. You all have a good one. Later.